I served for 12 years in the army and was medically discharged due to PTSD. I didn't feel like I belonged in the community and I didn't know how to belong. Because of that tempo they've been operating at, it's very hard to settle into a normal nine to five job driving a desk. You've been so active, been so focused, coming down from that and going into that other sort of environment. I don't think a lot of them can handle that. I was in the military for just over 10 years and I served on the Prime Minister's aircraft in Canberra. I had the pleasure of serving uh, Prime Minister John Howard, Kevin Rudd when he got in, and Julie Gillard as Deputy PM. I have two sons in the military, one's in the Air Force, one's in the Navy. I'm very proud of them and what they've achieved, and I'm so proud that they are serving our country. We've partnered with Uber because Uber's values and methods really match our own in that they're using technology and ideas to bring about social change and improve things for veterans. We support all veterans from the regiment, but we do a lot of work for the ADF in general, principally in areas of advocacy, areas of homelessness, self-harm, PTSD, anything at all that we can do to help the veterans of today. Some of the biggest challenges people face when they get out is sort of demilitarising. It's not a circuit breaker that can just be pulled and it's just really about readjusting to life. It's very flexible and I just think that that would be a fantastic thing for all those coming out of the military to be able to ease back into the workforce. I work as much or as little as I want and I set the hours that I would like to work and I don't have to wait for a boss or an employer to tell me when I'm working. The Uber experience I think gives them the opportunity to get back into the workforce and also get back into the society at large at their pace without pressure and that's very important.